Good morning. Today's topic is relation between Ka and Kb of conjugate acid base pair. So Ka and Kb are the equilibrium constants of an acid and a base. Okay. So Ka and Kb represents the strength of an acid as a and a base. Okay. Strength of an acid and a base. Okay, so when an acid hydrolyzes, what happens? Uh, its conjugate base is obtained. Let us take an example in the case of ammonium. NH4 plus. It acts as an acid on hydrolysis. It gets converted into H3O plus. Because it liberates its H plus ions and form H3O plus and NH3. Okay. Here NH4 plus and NH3 are conjugate acid base pair. So Ka will be equal to H3O plus by NH4 plus. Okay. This is the product. So Ka will be this. Now let us take a base. Base. NH3. Base. Ammonia is a base. On hydrolysis, what happens? Gets converted into NH4 plus. NH4 plus. Plus OH minus. Okay. Where NH3 and NH4 are conjugate acid base pairs. So here Kb. Equilibrium constant of the base will be equal to NH4 plus. OH minus by NH3. Okay, this will be the case. Now, what happens if we multiply Ka and Kb? If we multiply Ka and Kb, after cancelization, we will get the product H3O plus into OH minus. We know the concentration, the product of these two concentration will be equal to Kw. So, we got a relation that is Ka into Kb equal Kw. Okay. This, this is used to do some problems. Now, uh, now we are taking the negative logarithm on both sides. What happens? K into KB equal KW taking negative log on both sides. What happens? So, what happens? Minus log K plus minus log K, KB. This is equal to minus log KW. What is this? Minus log K is PKA plus PKB will be equal to PKW. This is another relation used to do some problems. Now, let us do one problem based on this. Now, the problem is Ionization constant of ammonia is 1.77 into 10 raised to minus 5. Calculate the ionization constant of the conjugate acid of ammonia. So, we know the relation between Ka, Kb and Kw. That is Ka into Kb is equal to Kw. Okay. Now, Kb is given 1.77 into 10 raised to minus 5. Okay, so K will be K is the ionization constant of the conjugate acid of ammonia. So this will be equal to Kw by Kb. Kw is a constant we know 10 raised to minus 14 and Kb is 1.77 into 10 raised to minus 1. Okay, this will be the value. After calculation, you get the value 5.64 into 10 raised to minus 2. This is K. Like this we can calculate Ka. That is ionization constant of the conjugate acid of ammonia. Okay. 